Good morning to the gamers. Let's just let's open with a little bandle today. Let's open early. 1978, 159 million views. Okay. Two. One, two, three, four. The only girl I ever loved was born with roses in her and, okay, so I think that's Holland 1945 by Neutral Milk Hotel. Just, I'm hearing bongos. To me, that sounds like um, 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 Earth, Wind, and Fire. I'm going to say this is September. That's wrong. Okay, next. Ooh. I do like that. I like that. A little Nile Rogers joint. I don't know what it is. Yet. Do, 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 do. Okay, but I got a feel for it now. I got a feel for it. Ah, I will survive. I know I'll stay alive. Yes, okay. Easy, easy. But if it wasn't that, it was definitely going to be Holland 1945 by Neutral Milk Hotel. One day, one day it will be. You ever read it as Jeff Magnum? Um, I didn't, but it was crazy to me when the Magnum ice cream bar started making like a marketing push. I'm going to say that it was like the early 2010s. I was like, I, I've never seen so many convenience stores advertising large size Trojan condoms before. I don't know. I mean, growing up, Magnum had one meaning and it was extra large size prophylactics. The second meaning was like a, a large bottle of champagne. I would say without a doubt, the Magnum ice cream has passed the market share of the Magnum uh, champagne bottle. I don't know about if it's passed the, the condom yet. Do you ever see the stat? It's one of the all-time great stats that the best-selling condom in, in North America is Trojan Magnum. You, an idiot... Men all think that they have above average size penises. Me, a genius, people with huge slongs fuck more and more safely. A stats 101 versus stats 201. Here we go. Here we go. The Latin magnum is actually pronounced closer to mangum, with how ancients tended to pronounce the gn or g sound, similar to the Greek. Who cares, man? The Roman Empire lost, bro. Odoacer soloed them. Well, he had the rest of the Visigoths, don't get me wrong. If they wanted us to keep talking, like the ancient Romans, they shouldn't have let the Visigoths sack Rome, bro. Now we're talking in the lingua franca, which for some reason is English. It doesn't make sense, but I don't ask questions because I benefit from it. Kibeno. Why are you falling asleep to Marcus Aurelius every night then? Well, Marcus Aurelius, he won the culture war. There's no doubt about that. Hey, I did want to say, by the way, I figured out why my... Um, I've been complaining about the fact that like, I wake up at 5.40 a.m. I take a 15-minute poop and then get on the bike for two hours, right? And then I look at my phone and I'm like, how did this motherfucker burn 12% battery life when I wasn't even looking at it? Then this morning, I, I checked battery usage after I got off the bike. This little punk has been playing bullshit jobs by David Graeber on Audible after I already turned off my Bluetooth headphones. This dude's just been playing Audible for two hours every morning into the ether, burning my electricity, costing me like four cents a day when, with no one listening to it. Use your Audible tokens. I do have 12 uh, tokens and I'm about to lose one. The problem is every time I get a new book on Audible, I um, listen to it for like one night. And then the next night I go right back to the rise and fall of the Third Reich because it's 94 hours long and uh, it's very dense. I've, I feel, I've been listening to it to fall asleep for like four and a half years and I still got a lot to learn. That's very weird. It's weird to, to read history now. You heard it first from Gen Z. The real thing to do, you know what they're always saying in history class? The first thing your history teacher says is, what are you doing here? Those who learn history are doomed to repeat it. 
You wouldn't know that because all of the history programs in North America have been defunded to buy new pads uh, for the football team. But that's the opposite. Yes, that's apparently they canceled humor class as well. A four-year period of all humankind equals history. Oh, sorry, Apollo. Which I, I'll get an audio book called The Entire History of Humanity. It'll be 14,000 trillion pages. Um, and the great thing about Audible is it'll only cost one credit. You will not catch me buying like a three-hour audio book with one credit. That's ridiculous. But that's also why I have... 12 credits remaining because I in order for me to buy another book with a credit it basically has to be at least 32 hours long by the way I'm not going to take a uh, sass on history from this guy did you see these guys uh play quick sort and try to sort world leaders Justin said he thought that Genghis Khan was the first conqueror in earth's history dude is actually like closer to the last conqueror in earth's history or at least the most recent He's closer, to the, he's closer to the present day than he is to the first one, at the very least. That was in A.D., bro. That's what I'm saying. It was like 1200 A.D. They didn't even throw out like an Asher Paul or something like that, you know? I mean, we were, we were dealing with stuff that happened like when Charlemagne was still alive. This shit pisses me off too, Apollo, because you played like, I don't know, 900 hours of Civilization VI. How do you play 900 hours of Civilization VI and you don't know, like, what came first? Genghis Khan or Queen Elizabeth I? Like, that doesn't even make any sense, man. And Lincoln starts the same time as Genghis Khan? Well, then you gotta fucking sort that out, bro. Sorry to say. Abraham Lincoln. 1861 to 1865. Ever talk about why all assassins have three names? What about Sirhan Sirhan? Well, he's only got one name. What about Brutus? His name is actually Brutus. No, 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 you're trying to trick me. His name is A2 Brutus. See, that's his full name. Nice purple shirt. It's not a purple shirt, it's lavender. It's a different color. You know what I was thinking? Apollo, don't answer this. I'm not even sure if I want to go with this bit. I'm trying to think. <laughs> trying to think if there's any punchline here. Men in the audience, would you get a massage from a man? I've been trying to tease apart my own hypocrisy. Anytime I've ever gotten a massage, as a default, they have always just given me a female masseuse. They've never even asked me if I wanted a male masseuse. Now, I don't know if they're not asking me because like 90% of men would rather get a massage from a woman or if they're not asking me because almost all of the massage therapists that work at these places are, are women. I guess it's probably a female dominated profession. The straights are not okay? Well, that's what I'm trying to become okay. I'm a male massage therapist, and I mostly work with other men. It's interesting. I think I would be okay with it, but definitely, like, the first time, I would be like... It's a little different. I need the big, beefy hands. I don't need the big, beefy hands. You know, when I get a massage, I think there's a, there's a pressure in our society to always get like a deep tissue massage, to always, like it's not even worth getting a massage unless it, it hurts a little bit. I'm not a noted massage enjoyer. I think I've had like four massages, maybe five massages in my entire life. In my limited experience, I like, uh, I like the gentle massage. I like a Swedish massage. I, I spent the first few massages being like, well, like, if I'm going to pay this much money for a massage, it might as well be deep tissue. I just, I don't want just surface tissue getting uh, massaged here. And then, like, half of the massage, I'm like, I wish they would use less pressure. Nowadays, I'm a, I think I'm just a Swedish sort of guy. Isn't that weird? I don't like to, like, the first couple massages I had, it was almost like you needed a recovery day afterwards. 
in order to recover from the soreness of the massage. Like that, it kind of defeats the purpose. The reason I'm getting a massage is because I'm sore to begin with. Uh, the, the most rigorous massage I ever had was the, the lady took a bamboo cylinder and was like using that. You know how like when you foam roll and it hurts? This was like, imagine that instead of foam, the foam roller was made out of hard bamboo. And they, she was working the knots out and it felt uh, bad. <laughs> it felt very painful. And then afterwards it felt better. But I feel like the only reason it felt better is because of the fact that it was, I was no longer in pain. You know what's... <laughs> I feel bad, it's like the eighth time. Oh, I've made this... Uh, it's not even a joke, it's true. Third ride yesterday, we were having a good time on the Peloton. I was keep, it was the third ride, I was keeping it like a little low impact. Then all of a sudden... Jump for my love by the Pointer Sisters came on. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Moomin Rider. I'm sorry, I can't be held responsible for the output that I start pushing when Jump for My Love by the Pointer Sister, the Pointer Sisters comes on. It just, uh, it, it gets me going, man. They got the damn Moomins riding now. I, I know the Moomins. It's the like a Finnish uh, TV show that Japanese people love, right? <laughs> Is that that's my understanding of the Moomins? And the rest of the world. Yeah, but like, if I was to do a factal, if I presented you with a factal and it said rank these countries by per capita spending on the Moomins, what would you put first? I would probably put Japan first and then I would put Finland second. Either way, though, I feel relatively confident those are the top two. Norway's up there too? Really? You guys are, you're fucking with the Moomins down in Oslo, huh? Down in Svalbard, you're fucking with the, the Moomins? Moomins? Moomins. It's like, I don't know, it's like a, a pig or something? Apollo, back me up on this one. What's a Moomin? A Moomin is like a... Clay Aiken be like some people wait a lifetime for a Moomin like this. Some people wait forever. Well, that's not Clay Aiken. <laughs> that's... Is it man, that Fantasia Barino? Apollo, back me up here. We're, we're spinning our wheels trying to find a, a banter-rich topic, something we can sink our teeth into. Some chicken wings are, are one bite. A lot of this banter has been a one-bite chicken wing so far. Some chicken wings are uh, are like 15 bites. This has only been a one bite so far. Duran Duran has no people named Duran in it. Uh, yeah, but they get a lot of credit, in my opinion, because they wrote The Reflex. In fact, they, they wrote many of the best pop songs, many top 150 songs of the 1980s. Rio's their best song. I honestly... I'm gonna plus two that. I don't disagree. I like the tempo. I like the, the saxophone solo at the end. I resent the fact that when it's played on the radio, they don't play the full version. Hungry Like the Wolf, kind of a great karaoke song for someone like me, though, who can't sing. Because the whole thing, there's like four notes in the entire song. Dark in the city, night is a wire. Steam on the subway, earth is a fire. And then everybody, you, at karaoke, you love a song where everybody can go, do 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 It's got a little sing-along sort of coda attached to it. I re the Duran Duran Respector is logged on. I have done the Bradley Rose Duran Duran Peloton ride probably, I would say, three times. That's not enough to put it in, like, the, the top five, but... It was, you know, it's always an option. That's why I do tequila. You don't do tequila, okay? It's called drinking. Um, and secondly, always one motherfucker at karaoke. It's always putting on something for a laugh. Putting on something with like a... Oh, sorry, I only, I forgot that the chorus only starts uh, four minutes into the song and it actually opens with like a nine minute instrumental. That's so why you got it on karaoke. There's like there's rules, okay, or there's there's unwritten rules. Unfortunately, and I wish that it wasn't like this either. But karaoke is not the place to flex your musical taste. If you want everything to go well at karaoke, you should be putting on radio classics that are two and a half to five minutes long and do not have long instrumentals, okay. Just put on something, and you better know the words, okay? If you put the song on, and like, I know they put the words up on the screen, but if you put the song on, and all you know is the chorus, and then in the verse you're just like, uh, mumbling? Brother, 
It's, it's just bad etiquette, okay? Four minute songs are way too long. Most patient Gen Z in the chat, sorry. I, if, there's not many things I rag on Gen Z for, okay? Because they shoot back. But <laughs> the songs, the songs these days do be a little bit shorter. That's, that's the meat and potatoes of it. They just, they're a little bit shorter than they used to be. And that's fine, man. That's fine. I'm happy for them. They get to listen to more of them, like as a result. Kids these days are not listening to Close to the Edge by Yes. They're listening to a TikTok version that just goes, dun, 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 I get up, I get down. The end. If Gen Z made Close to the Edge by Yes, it would, be, it would still be three songs. The entire album would be six minutes and 12 seconds long. And I love that for them. I do, man. Roundabout intro on repeat. You know what I, I love roundabout? For sure. You know what I love about my two favorite Yes songs? That's, maybe they're not my two favorite, but Close to the Edge is probably my favorite. And um, Roundabout maybe is like number three, number four or something. It's still really good. Aren't they all about just like, it's, it's a 22 minute long song about like the drive to your cottage for the summertime, right? They're all about being rich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. At. Like they, they take these like super mundane situations and then write like epics about them, man. Like even Tchaikovsky had to get inspired by a war in order to write the 1812 overture. Yes, is just like the dude is just on the train. And he's like, you'll see the total mass retained. <laughs> Close to the edge, down by the corner. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this dude talking about? It turns out it's about eating like a ham sandwich at Sainsbury's. Hang on, here's something worth talking about. What's worse, wearing a band's shirt to their show or using your own emotes in someone else's chat? Um, use, and I do this, but using your own emotes in someone else's chat. For sure. Wearing a band's shirt to their own show, that seems appropriate to me. It seems like that's like wearing... a a jersey of the team that you're currently watching in the stadium. It seems within the bounds of normalcy. I'm not a noted concert enjoyer, so maybe the etiquette has changed. Like, I don't even own a Nintendo 3DS to take a picture of the band anymore, so obviously I'm out of touch. But I feel like using your own emotes, and I do it, but using your own emotes in someone else's chat is a little more cringe. I'm already self-conscious. DL Guiga, back me up on this. I put Keck W after, like, literally almost every sentence on uh, on Discord. But in my defense, part of that is because almost everything I say is really funny. It makes even me laugh. So I can't really be like held responsible for that. Can confirm he hit the Discord with Keck W like four hours ago. That's because DL Guiga typed I can't find it in the Discord, but who was the person who recommended eating a Halls before getting on the Peloton? I just tried it and it worked. And I was like, bro, that was my dad. Who's literally out here using my dad's boomer tech on the Peloton? Like, I, I was happy for my father, but I was also like, I was kind of stunned that it made its way into the, the zeitgeist. It worked at least. Well, my dad, he, he goes pretty hard on the bike, man, to be honest with you. Pretty soon he's going to be eating... Hall and oats for breakfast. One cough drop and a little bit of Quaker. Yeah, get me out of here. What's this supposed to do? I don't, you know, it just opens up your alveolar sacs or whatever. Now, I do respect my father, but um, he is a Green Halls enjoyer. Green Halls is like diet menthol flavor, and that's fine. You know, it's, it's, his, uh, it's his esophagus. He can do whatever he wants. So I grew up bumming Green Halls off of him. I have grown up into a based halls enjoyer when sick, I get the black halls. Because honestly, like I'm not afraid to get a little like halls vindaloo. No mention of red. I don't eat candy um, for the most part. So I, no, I don't, I don't find myself getting red halls. I want it to pretend to be medicine. It's not really medicine. It's kind of like somewhere between, it's like a medicinal gum, I guess, kind of. It's like a Werther's original that you need a prescription for. Literally snake oil. It's not a snake oil. Like it makes your throat go like, it, I, it clears you out like, uh, well, I don't know. 
And I'm not saying it'll make you healthy, but it'll mitigate the symptomatic effects of congestion. Best lunch meat? Brother, I just... <laughs> See, easy choice, okay? The best lunch meat is salami. I don't eat it because... Well, I try not to eat it because it's one of the worst things you could possibly put in your body. I think like every slice of salami is the equivalent of smoking like four cigarettes. It tastes amazing though. I'm still like every... I eat probably more lunch meat than the average person. It's such a strange food. Like it's meat that has been processed and turned into like a log, an, an, like an amorphous, I guess it's morphous because it's literally log shaped, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not, you don't know what you're eating when you eat it. Like it's, it's ham, but it's kind of like, you don't, you didn't see what made it into the cylinder. It's crazy to me that we all just sort of treat it as like almost a default lunch. Wait until you see chicken nuggets? Yeah, but everybody knows like chicken nuggets are kind of like a Franken food. People are giving their kids, you know, lunch meat sandwiches every day at school <laughs> for lunch. Like I, I feel like every time I buy lunch meat, which is basically every time I go to Costco, I'm like, I'm the last generation that's gonna be buying this shit. Like, I, like we're past peak lunch meat. How much lunch meat do you eat that Kirkland lunch meat doesn't go bad before you use it? I honestly, you and Corey should take that up with each other because I know you, <laughs> for whatever reason, you guys, Co Corey was the one that was throwing me for a loop. He's like, I don't buy lunch meat at Costco because it always goes bad before I finish it. And then the dude was telling me is because he eats like, he takes one slice of each lunch meat to put on his sandwich. And I'm like, yeah, bro, when you get the variety pack, of course it's going to go bad three times faster because you're exposing it to the to the air faster. You go, you, you get the ham, turkey, chicken, and you run through the ham, and then you go to the turkey, and then you run through the chicken. I use half the tub in a single sandwich. No, no, no. See, like, I would do that, but you really shouldn't. It's really bad for you. <laughs> I say this not as a dunk. It's actual, like... A genuine uh, is a moment of concern. The commercials do show uh, a lot of lunch meat on every sandwich. I can't deny that. But the commercial commercials also show like every kid for breakfast every morning before school is having like a bowl of apple jacks, two fried eggs, two pieces of whole wheat toast, a glass of milk, and a glass of orange juice with like a, a cantaloupe on the side. Like it, the commercials are not representations of the constraints of real-world living. McDonald's versus Nobu? Now listen, I might have to go to bat for McDonald's in that. Although you know what's crazy? Sometimes it's harder to get a table at McDonald's. Because the elderly do be camping out with the coffees, man. I'm at the point where it's actually just like, even if I got time, I'm like, I'm just gonna go through the drive-thru and then eat the stuff in my car. Because sometimes you gotta, like, people are scoping out the tables, waiting for somebody to stand up. They're, like, rushing it. They're sending their kids to reserve the table, like, before they even order the food, which to me is an affront to the social contract. I feel like um, you shouldn't be able to get a table until you're holding the tray that your food comes on. Otherwise, we're, we're, we're having people take tables when they don't even have food to eat on the tables yet, which is minimizing the utility of the table. My parents did that. Well, you, you have to. As soon as other people start, it's a tragedy of the commons, right? As soon as people start to get tables when they don't have food, you have to, you know, debase yourself if you want to get a table. It's the way of the world, man. You know what they should do is every table at McDonald's, you should have to like scan your receipt to sit at it. So A, you have to have your food and then the tables should be like electric. So every minute, there's like a hinge in the center of the table and every minute the hinge moves up like two degrees. So after like 10 minutes of eating, the table's like this and all your food is starting to like slide off and then you're like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And then when you get up, it goes like shunk and you can't scan your receipt again. What happens if a kid gets their fingers stuck in the hinge? We'll work it out. We'll have like anti-finger pinching technology or something, you know, it, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Don't worry. It's going to be good. You're going to be able to get a table. 
Listen, this is just a rough draft of the first idea, okay? We got... We got a lot of time to perfect it. Did you hear about... Cosmics, the McDonald's Starbucks rival? Oh, McDonald's is gonna start a rivalry with Starbucks? What is McDonald's gonna do? Make their restaurant 40% uh, worse so they can finally be on Starbucks's level? They're both shit? Yeah, but at least... Well, first off, I disagree. But secondly, McDonald's tastes good. Starbucks does not taste good. Ergo, McDonald's is better. You don't get the right drinks? Oh, you're not supposed to get coffee at Starbucks? My mistake. Plus two, plus two, plus two. I feel so powerful right now. <laughs> Bag of crafting? That will not be happening today. Um, little monstro, that will be happening today. Bag of crafting, not today, not ever. They, they overcooked it, it's too much. Bag of crafting is like being a Starbucks barista when the TikTok kids come in and start ordering like the unicorn frappuccino. Oh, you haven't heard of the Jacob Sartorius Frappuccino? It's got 97 ingredients. It went viral uh, two hours ago on TikTok. You're a little bit behind the times. I was a barista. That was mad annoying. See, I'm a friend of the Starbucks bar. I'm not, I'm not knocking the people who work at Starbucks. They're whipping up the drinks like crazy. And then they always got to deal with like... <laughs> We should be nicer to everybody, but they always have to deal with the boomers who are like, can I get a little bit more, you know, can I get one extra pump of hazelnut in this? I ordered the Jacob Sartorius frap and you, you only gave me one pup, pump of spearmint. It's supposed to be one and a half pumps of peppermint. You know, they always got to deal with insane micromanagement like that. It's not their fault. They're not the ones making the sandwiches, you know? Sodexo and Cisco are the ones making the sandwiches. They're just the ones asking me if I want them reheated. And I'm like, honestly, don't waste your time. I know what it's going to taste like anyway. I have a deep undying hatred for Sodexo. Me too. Me too. Kind of. Um, the company should be broke based on the quality of the food that they provide. Sodexo is a, a food service company that has contracts to cater a lot of university uh, cafeterias and like prison kitchens and stuff like that. Probably some offices, I'm guessing, as well. Um, nothing will radicalize you like recognizing that when you look at the price of your college meal plan, it's like $15 for every lunch and $20 for every dinner. And then looking at the quality of the actual food that you're receiving for that amount of money. And you're like, really? We got the tiny shrimps. I know I've, I, I just keep going down this road with the tiny shrimps again. It's just blowing my mind that they just have the... They don't have real shrimp. They only have tiny shrimp. I've never seen shrimp that small before, and I haven't seen shrimp that small since. I, Sodexo's got the market cornered on the tiny shrimp. Do you have a running tally of type A and type B chatters? No, I don't, but I do know, Nolan Soft, you are a type A chatter. It's not an insult. It's only sometimes type A chatters are like, what's up with the type A hate? It's not hate to just identify you as a type A chatter. That's something inside of yourself that takes offense to your identification. I'm only stating facts. You're applying feelings to it. What type is this? Middle finger emoji? That's type B. That's definitely type B. I have a little plebiscite for you, Chad. Do you know your own blood type? Yes or no? I definitely used to know my own blood type. But I forgot. <laughs> I think I'm A negative. But I remember whenever I would see the histogram at the blood donation clinic, I was like the, the second or third most common blood type. It's either A negative or AB negative. But I also feel like um, some of, I feel like whenever people talk about like their blood type, it's always cope. Like whenever you have, maybe that's not the best way to phrase it. The people with the rarest blood always gas themselves up. They're like, oh, my blood's really rare. So it's like more important that I, that I donate than anybody else. And then the people with the most common blood are always like, 
almost everybody has my blood. So the demand is so high that like I have to donate. And I'm like, brother, they can't both be, I mean, actually, I guess they can both be true. I guess there could just always be a lot of demand for blood and you should like give no matter what. I'm just saying, why are you trying to act superior to me? I'm out here with like a, like the third place blood. And I'm like, well, my blood is like, Relic, maybe not as important as yours, but still pretty important in the whole scheme of things. Yeah, pe people with my blood think that there's not that much demand and there's a lot of supply, so they don't donate as much. So my blood is actually like some of the most important blood out there. I'm like, relax, brother. You didn't make the antibody. Well, I guess you did make the antibodies, didn't you? <laughs> the whole scheme of things. I should not keep saying this bit, but I can't help myself. I would be happy to donate blood a lot. Problem is, it actually takes like a long time, which I understand they want to be safe. There's a good reason for it. And then I always get these phone calls that are like, we need your blood, please donate it. We have like overwhelming demand. And then when I go check the website to like book a time, they're like, we're booked up for like the next four weeks unless you want to come in at 9.15 p.m. And I'm like, well, you got to add some more chairs to the lounge, bro. Like, like I'm, I'm, I, it's a good thing to do. And I've, I don't know, I've probably donated blood like 15 or 20 times in my life. But it is, I'm, I'm fighting like rush hour traffic to get down there. You're asking me a bunch of personal questions. Have you ever had sex with anybody who's ever had sex with anybody who's ever been to Zaire between the years 1997 and 1992? And I'm like, whose fucking business is it, sister? And then after I answer the questions, they make me fill out a, like a survey that has like the same questions in it. And then they make me watch like an episode of the Big Bang Theory sitting in a Lazy Boy and I'm like, and now they like, I'm already, I'm sacking a lot of time to this. And now they're like, oh, do you have a reservation? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Just stick me, lady. You're the one, you called me. And then they're like, you can't leave yet. You have to eat a fucking oatmeal cookie first. And I'm like, bro, my macros. I did see DL Guiga said, would you donate breast milk? I would, I would ask my wife first. Um, we did though. People are very weird about the human body. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I, I guess I can't say for most people, but for like a lot of moms, they're making more milk than the baby needs. So what are you gonna do with it? You're gonna stock up like your whole freezer and then you got at some point you gotta start donating it for babies that don't have access to the same high quality uh, breast milk, you know? It is, it, I was thinking about this the other day, you know, like every hack comedian's favorite joke? Imagine, who, can you imagine what it was like, the first guy who drank milk? Can you imagine, he was like, look at that thing, I'm gonna go suck on it, am I right? That's so weird. I was thinking about it the other day, the joke doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. You think like, ancient people didn't know what milk was? They were sucking on titties the day they came out of the womb. I think they were like, whoa, wouldn't it be weird if we drank that? You fucking already drank it, bozo. You drank it for like probably five years when you came out because it's not like they were starting to eat dinosaur chicken nuggets in the year negative 75,000. It's like the least weird thing they can eat. It's like way weirder that they were like, let's kill the thing and eat its flesh. <laughs> it's like it's already making the stuff that can make you grow big and there you're like look at you know that thing that like feeds us let's fucking kill it and eat it this time that's way weirder bro holy cow i got two plus twos from dl guiga yeah eggs are way weirder because i feel like the ancient peoples didn't really puzzle out that like the embryonic chicken eats the egg in order to grow into a chick. Like, that stuff is still... I think scientists are still working on that to this day. Can I ask you a... People hate when I talk about astronomy, okay? But I'm just genuinely... It's kind of... It's hard for a, a pea brain like me to understand how um, astronomy advanced so far when we... Like, the, the celestial bodies that are being studied are so far away. Like, you know what blew my mind? I was reading the Wikipedia article on dwarf planets last night. Here's a sentence that'll fuck with you. There are five known dwarf planets. We really... 
we can we got the Hubble telescope that can take pictures of things that are like a hundred thousand light years away and we haven't in our own solar system there may be more dwarf planets we we have not encountered yet that'll I mean the solar system is very small within the context of the galaxy which within the context of the universe is like infinitesimal and we still haven't even plumbed the depths of that now I do also want to say I kind of thought that the Hubble telescope was like, I don't know, maybe like a few kilopixels. I recognize it was built in like 1990, 1986 or something like that. Um, but they, they had a, a little animation of one of the dwarf planets as seen from the Hubble telescope. And that thing sucks shit, bro. It sucks ass. It actually looked like it was at least 10 times worse than the Game Boy camera. I understand it's looking at things that are extremely far away. Like, I can't even fathom the optical science that went into creating it. But, like, calling it a telescope is a little bit of a stretch, in my opinion. <laughs> so, what's the question? Well, I was reading about these dwarf planets, and they're like, Ceres has uh, bright spots on it that are largely consisting of carbonate deposits. And I'm like, how the fuck did they know that, man? Like, I, I know on, on some level, they've built probes that have flown to Ceres and have, have flown by it, and then they have some sort of sensing of the planet. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's a visual sensor or like a spectrum of ultraviolet light or, or if it's sent out like a little probe from the probe or something like that. But how do they know the molecular composition of the of the dwarf planet without actually ever having landed on it and taken like a geological sample. It's just a guess? That can't be true. <laughs> wait, wait, Chad, is this real? Light absorbed by the material? So they, they look at, the sun emits light. Let's start from base principles here. The sun emits light, big if true. The light hits the dwarf planet and then the probe has like an a, a ultraviolet wavelength scanner. Because it's not like a scientist is just looking at like a little picture and going like, oh, that shit's like, you know, royal blue. That's carbonate, right? And then it's sending data back to NASA. NASA's getting a bunch of like bits and bobs and they're putting it through a processor and they're going like, oh, that's the emittance profile of carbonate. Sort of. I'm pretty impressed with myself, to be honest. They spin a little wheel and they just lie to the journalists. Well, here's the thing. I don't believe that, but that would be like a lot easier. You could basically tell me anything. It's not like I'm going to go fact check you. It's probably not going to have much of an impact on my life if they're like, oh, big news coming out. They always give like these press conferences, right? They're like, oh, shit, guys, get ready. NASA press conference today. It's going to be big news. And you're like, oh, shit. They found aliens. And then it's always like, oh, we thought it was carbonate on Ceres, but it's actually bicarbonate. And I'm like, you fucking tease, bro. Don't be running the press conferences until you got real news. But the Alka-Seltzer Corporation is like, bats, bats. <laughs> that would be huge news, unironically. Maybe for you, not for me. Huge news for me is if Lies of P wins Best RPG at the Game Awards tonight. I think it's a bit of a stretch, though. It's up against some <laughs> pretty good competition. <laughs> you know what? I, I want to anger the Canadians a little bit. A lot of amazing bands come from Canada. Can I say something that I want to make you mad, but also I believe that it might be true? I believe the average famous band from Canada is worse than the average famous band from America. Or England. Although, we probably got Australia beat, no disrespect. <laughs> we got a lot of great artists. Alanis Morissette, Japan Droids, Tragically Hip, Shania Twain, Soul Decision, Swollen Members, etc, etc. When a Canadian artist decides to go garbage, they go full garbage, without a doubt. I still can't believe Brian Adams is famous, like, kind of throughout the world. I get why he's famous in Canada, because people can be like, Bat! He's from Scarborough, just like me! But like, 
How did Brian Adams become famous in the United States? It doesn't make sense. Kim Mitchell? Patio Lanterns. People like his music? No, 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 that's too easy. There must be some sort of conspiracy. I'm taking this thing all the way to the top. Clean your ears out, kid? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> the Brian Adams Defender has logged on. I have to listen to a lot of Brian Adams because uh, Sam Yo plays his ass on the Peloton all the time. Thought I died and went to heaven. Such a time I never felt before. My Singing Monsters 30 minute high impact ride. That's, they don't make uh, high impact rides, but I would take that one. They make high intensity rides. They, I don't think anyone wants a high impact workout. This is the sort of thing, like you just imagine your knees turning to dust. I think that's like boxing is like a high impact workout. They call it Hidden Hills. DL Guiga, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to insult the other riders here, okay? I appreciate everybody who shows up for the whole stack. I appreciate anybody who shows up now and then for a little bit of it, for the, for the record. I, my ass was like second from the bottom on today's Power Zone Endurance. And I got like the seventh highest FTP. So you know what that means. I don't need to spell it out for you, but I might need to spell it out for the other viewers. People are racing on the Power Zone Endurance. Which, that shit offends me, okay? So after the power zone endurance, my ass sitting down there in the dirt, eating, picking flies out of my teeth, people are going to the Discord bragging about their output. Whoa, that was crazy, I did amazing. Third ride, I put the fucking hammer down. Hey, you guys, you, you, you beat me by six on the power zone endurance by staying in zone four all the time. I'm gonna clear you for a, by 110 on that Dennis Morton Hidden Hills ride. And then I went, I, I, I popped into the Discord Michael Jordan style and I said, great rides everyone, because I wanted to seem gracious first. And then I said, you know, if you guys are gassed on the third ride, you don't always have to race on the power zone endurance. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys aren't helping. You, you, you seem so impressed that I had an average wattage of, what, maybe 184 on the Power Zone Endurance. You put out a 186. I ain't mad at you. But just if you put out 186 on the Power Zone Endurance, you couldn't keep up with 230 in the Hidden Hills ride. Dennis Morton had us out of the saddle dancing, man. He had us hopping on the ones and twos. I'm still a little sick. I only did the first 30 minutes. I ain't mad at you, Diel I think that just to have done the, the first... 30 minutes when you're still a little sick is admirable. I also beat you on that ride. Diel, we get, you're, like, I'm just leveling with you. You're kind of embarrassing yourself. Showing up for 30 minutes of a two hour stack after like five days off when everybody else has been doing two hours a day and we got lactic acid coming out of our whatever. And you're gonna say, oh, I beat you by like 12 kilojoules on one quarter of the ride. Like this shit is embarrassing, bro. I take your take your yellow jersey for winning like stage 11 of the Tour de France and then enjoy being 115th in the total results, okay? Like it's just an ignorant way to divide us. When instead, we should be celebrating everyone. Have you ever seen someone use karate in real life? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I know... You know, the same way that Twitch self-selects for intelligence, in a, in a way. I'm being very careful with my wording. I'm sure that there's a lot of black belts in chat, if you know what I mean. But I, were the 90s and the early 2000s, like, uh, were, was that a, a martial arts bubble? It felt like everybody that I knew was in, like, karate or taekwondo or, or something like that. It was like probably the number three after school activity. Number one was always going to be soccer because it was like 30 bucks to register for a season and all you needed were shorts. Number two was probably baseball. Number three was definitely, was definitely some form of martial art. I just feel like for the n amount of people that were involved in martial arts as a kid, I have not seen like a single person fucking jump up and kick someone in the head in my entire life. Outside of like a, a, a display, like a, a showcase of karate skills. Now, I would say that there's some value in just doing it for like exercise and discipline and like self-confidence reasons. I'm just a little surprised I haven't seen it applied in real life. That's because it was mostly nerds. Well, that's what I was getting at. <laughs> what do you say fuck me for? 
I just feel like a lot of the time, like in the 90s, martial arts were fucking everywhere. Every form of cardio got turned into a martial art. People were doing Tai Bo, Carmen Electra's karate strip tees. Like it was crazy. 80s, maybe the 80s are even more karate pilled. I was just living in like an echo of it. That's probably true. So many Steven Seagal wannabes. Well, what, which one is like, listen, I don't want to offend my Korean audience. Judo is real. People wrestle slash fight slash duel in Judo. Is Taekwondo real? Like, is that an actual, is it an art of self-defense or is it an exercise? Because I feel like anytime I see like Taekwondo, it's always just like, you know, ha! Ha, they're like, like just punching straight ahead with like no leverage, <laughs> not to be rude. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying they could probably kick my ass. Judo it was not even close. Like judo, I'd be, I'd be disarmed in two seconds. That's a given. But like, I thought Taekwondo was kind of like halfway between like maybe like Tai Chi and, and karate. Muay Thai, yeah, they would kill me. Based on what I know about the average person who practices Muay Thai, they got a lot of aggression to get out as well. So I would probably be, they would, like in the dojo, they would be like the spirit of martial arts is restraint. But if they ever had like a reason to hit me, they would make sure that I died. And then they would stand over my body and go like, huh, huh, huh? But Taekwondo, I just don't know. I just, because I, I thought Taekwondo was almost more like performative. What about Krav Maga? Isn't that the one that's basically like, if you're ever in trouble, just grab their nuts and twist it. Krav Maga is the one that's like, we could teach you like a way to kill a man by like poking him in the wrong place in his solar plexus. Also, as someone who's never taken a martial art, what's up with um, like, I mean, maybe this is Kung Fu. Maybe I have Kung Fu all mixed up in here. They don't do really Kung Fu class, right? It's all karate. Well, so sometimes they'll be like squared up like this. And then like out of nowhere, one of the dudes will just go like, and then everyone, and this is not just the karate kid. Everyone goes on like a hushed tone and they go like, oh, the mantis technique. And you're like, well, what, that seems, I'm no expert. It seems way worse. Isn't there a reason like every combat sport starts with, you know, you having your, your dukes up and squaring up, like instead of staying balancing on one foot with your arms in the air? I don't know, I'm coming from a place of ignorance. I'm being a little bit dismissive of it, but I was hoping you would respond to me maturely. It's an advanced stance, dude. I, I believe that, it's hard to stand up like that. I never took this stuff, so I don't know, man. Aren't there like hundreds of videos about martial arts being fake? Well, some of it, like the dude who is just gets like kicked in the nuts like 500, why would I use this right here? He gets kicked in the nuts like uh, 500 times. That one's not real. Or the dude who can channel his key into like uh, an energy ball. Oh, oh, I thought I broke my game. That can channel his key into an energy ball and like knock someone over telepathically from across the room. It is funny that they're called martial arts too. I'm not saying it's not artful, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm an artist. Oh, what medium? Um, chops, mostly. Chops. <laughs> mm, chops and uh, uh, elbow blows. Elbow blows. I'm kind of like, they call me the, um, the Matisse of elbowing and kneeing people. Put your balls on the table in D4. All right, all right. This run's been kind of like a little bit of a snooze, right? Except for all those times I almost died. Let's, let's put balls on the table. We're, so, there's only one rule about balls on the table. Someone calls balls on the table, you gotta put your balls on the table. First thing I'm gonna do though, get a damage upgrade. Balls on the table, here we go. What the hell is this? I don't do any damage? <laughs> Something's doing damage though. There, there's some damage being done. C-section is very good. My mom at the hospital when she saw my huge fucking head on the ultrasound. I think I'm like immune to getting hit by these enemies for some reason. 
Don't do that. You can you can <laughs> yourself if you're interested. Okay, nuts on the table, we go again. It's it seems better in every way, but my damage output is way worse. It's so much worse. Yeah, yeah, but this is what nuts on the table is all about. You know, you can't be surprised when you buy a lottery ticket and you don't win. Like, that's, that's what it's there for, man. Me when I'm in an Ed Helms, Jeremy Renner film. Is Ed Helms in tag? Ed Helms... Gotta have one of the worst filmographies of, of any actor on the planet. Now, I know that um, on dangiesling.com slash movies, Cedar Rapids is a 10. I also enjoy um, The Hangover 1. The sequels, we don't need to talk about them because you already know they're bad. I mean, dude went from The Daily Show to The Office. That's, that's a big come up, don't get me wrong. Then to The Hangover, one of the biggest comedies of the 2000s. And then what, uh, what happened after? I don't think I've seen an Ed Helms movie on purpose in like 15 years. He did not die in 2022. I still see him doing stuff. He's probably got like his own sitcom on Apple TV right now. He did not, dude. He's still alive. I mean, I kind of like... Ed, Ed Helms might be the actor I think that I like the most who has the absolute worst filmography. Like, the, those two intersection points are, are close together. I... In my head, if you ask me what's your opinion on Ed Helms, I would be like mildly positive. And then if you showed me his filmography, I think I would be like, oh, never mind. Lauren Malvo added the Fortnite. Don't tease me, motherfucker. Don't tease me. I would go back to Fortnite in a heartbeat if they added Lauren Malvo. Who's Lorne Malvo? It's Billy Bob Thornton's character from Fargo Season 1, bro. Why is he named like a Star Wars character? He's literally not. He's just named Lorne. And then maybe, I don't know, like his grandparents were like Polish or something. <laughs> it's not a Star Wars character, bro. That's just what like people are named in the Midwest. It's my first time hearing Lorne. Really? Lorne is a, it's a noted name. It's, it's not a top 10 older guy name, but it's, I would say it's in the top 250. Larry gotta be number one. I gotta think about that. You certainly don't meet a lot of Larrys or Lawrences, people that are like my age or younger. If you are one, I honestly, I think Larry's kind of a cool name. Ron, dude, Ron is so good. What's the video that, that goes, uh, the lady says, damn it, Ron. A really Ron, nice one, Ron. <laughs> nice, Ron. I sneezed. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze. What? 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 And then he's like, "What was I supposed to do?" Oh, what? I can't sneeze. That's it. <laughs> oh man. I I'm not supposed to sneeze. So good. The dude sneezes and scares the deer. That's a, that's a certified hood classic, man. And I think, fellas, we can all say, he's right. What's he supposed to do, man? It's like an involuntary action. No, I'm not saying wife bad. I'm just saying, like, she could have been nicer about it. Was she even rude? Well, it's the, there's a tone to it. Listen. I'm not, I'm not trying to walk into any accusations here. The way she said it, it's very, she had a sarcastic tone to it. Nice one, Ron. I think it's, I, I'm not saying he should have responded the way he did, but I'm saying I can see where the emotion came from, certainly. So women can't have a tone now? I'm just saying her tone could have been nicer. <laughs> Listen, I treat my wife well. I'm not going to start playing from behind the eight ball just because my great-great-grandfather was like a piece of crap, okay? I'm not, I, I know women have been told that they need to be nicer for like, you know, centuries and now you're, no, 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 you got me all backwards. She specifically in this situation should have been nicer because she can't do anything, His husband, her husband can't do anything about the sneeze, okay? That being said, can I tell you something my wife did yesterday? Kate, are you here? 
I want you to be able to not, not even have to defend yourself because there's nothing to defend, but at least be able to answer any questions that chat might have about the subject. We went to Costco last night, got the hot dog combo, buck 50 each. It's an insane deal. It always will be. She didn't eat the hot dog right away because she said, I'm sick of the Costco not having relish. So she, we took it. I ate mine in the car. She took hers home, put her own ketchup, relish, and mustard on it, and then ate it at the dining room table. I actually, I feel like I learned something about my wife. She doesn't just, she's not like a relish enjoyer. She's like a true relish believer. I personally, if they had no condiments, I like a little mustard on my hot dog. If they had no condiments, I would eat the plain hot dog right away. I'm not, I don't have the kind of like impulse control to not eat the hot dog on the way home. She's, she has a value set and she stuck with it. And I'm very impressed. Just here to start act three, no funny business today. Thank you for checking in Chibli. You can go get ready for your shift to start. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. You know, 30 minutes early is on time in this organization. We've been talking about good stuff. Hey, Chibli, would you ever get a massage from a man? Wait, Dan, are you still here? You're the kind of guy I need to ask this. Okay, so like it's easy to answer yes. All right. But if you were, if you went to an online massage booking portal and it was like, choose your masseuse. What criteria would you start looking by if you had no experience with any of the masseuses? Would you just go first available appointment? Would you, would you be like, that person looks strong? Grip strength, experience? Who looks nice? That's even more fucked up than like only getting a massage from like one gender, bro. Who looks nice? This shit is as superficial as fuck, bro. It's just a picture. You don't know anything about their personality. Any answer is incriminating. That's the thing. Unless you you lie and say, I just I roll uh, dice and then just choose randomly. No, you fucking don't. Come on. Personality's not important for a massage. He's the motherfucker who said he wanted them to look nice. Bro, you got your face down in the fucking donut for 45 minutes. What do you care what they look like? Excuse me? You, the donut. You lay down, you put your face in the donut. You ever had a massage? I have had, I've had a few massages. Were they nice? It varied. When I needed to get physiotherapy because my back was fucked up, the massage was the best part for sure. It was always like a 15 minute massage and then like, uh, I'm sure it works. I'm just making a joke. I'm not trying to say physiotherapy is a lie, okay? It was always a 15 minute massage that made me feel some relief in the area where there was pain. And then like 20 minutes of her showing me an exercise that I just went like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then I knew even as I was getting the lecture that I was never going to do it. It was always like, you know, get an elastic band and then step on it and then stretch your back like this and try to do that for like 20 minutes a day. I'm like, I'm sure it would help, but I'm just, I'm just being realistic. I want to do it, but I don't want to do it enough to actually do it. I want the effects of it without going through the, the work. I mean, I'm not worried about the Zane. It's more like I don't want to lose the D6, but... Holy... Worth it? Balls on the table? Confirmed balls on the table? Where did balls on the table come from? Uh, me wanting to be funny. I think it's funny to... Because people, every, everybody my age is addicted to gambling now. I think it's funny to, like... What if you took gambling to the next step and said, like, I'm going to, I'm putting my balls on the parlay. Tyrese Halliburton is getting the triple double tonight. I'm balls on the table. I don't know what the DraftKings payout is for, uh, for your balls on the table. It better be good, but, and then like to get your balls chopped off and be like, ah, oh, my balls just got chopped off. And then your friends are like, it's okay, bro. Tough break. It happens all the time. We go again. Fuck. You're right. You're right. We go again. We go again. <laughs> what, you're gonna let your balls getting chopped off stop you from hitting the jackpot? I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, man. Everybody in this industry is a snake. Your nuts have no value on the on the black market, right? 
I'm sure your kidney has value. A lot of your organs probably have some value. I can't imagine that, that like a nut would have value. And it's not like I'm saying that nuts don't provide utility. It's simply like, damn, back me up on this deal, Guiga. It's a supply versus demand issue. There's just so many men out there. I think like 5% of men on the planet would probably just give you a nut as a joke. So I can't imagine that like the market forces are really generating like a high unit cost per testicle on the, on the deep web. People are pretty stingy with the kidneys. You get two, but you only get two. And like, I'm pretty sure it's nice to have two. I don't know because I've never had one. But I'm like, also kind of, I'm saving that kidney. I don't know if someone in my life will ever need it. I wouldn't have a problem stepping up and, you know, giving a loved one my spare kidney. The only thing is, I think I would want it in writing that like I get next. <laughs> Cause I don't want to die because I gave a kidney to someone who needed it. And then like when it's my turn, they're like, oh, new phone, who this, right? I'd be like, bro, really? Like I sh if you give someone a kidney, shouldn't you get like a, a little card that you can redeem to go like to the top of the transplant list? That's actually how it works. Bro, I'm so smart. I'm gonna give my fucking kidney tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows, I might need one someday. You also get most kidney related costs covered in the future. Okay, hang on, what do you mean most? Like Blue Cross, Blue Shield is like, thank you for your service, but unfortunately that one, <laughs> we're gonna need the, we're gonna need your deductible on that one. <laughs> Oh, it turns out that surgery, like kidney removal surgery, is not covered by your insurance. So that kidney you donated, that'll be uh, $225,000, please. I think it's crazy that you can, like, again, I'm not a doctor, clearly, or an astronomer. It's crazy you can live with a collapsed lung. Isn't that shit like a balloon? Like, if it pops, how is it holding the air, man? I'm sure it hurts like a you-know-what, but like... You got two of them? Yeah, but like, what? okay, if you get two collapsed lungs, do you die? Or like, need emergency medical attention? Kinda? Or is it just like, extremely painful and uncomfortable? It's okay as long as you have gills. <laughs> I remember, it, like, I went to a rural uh, elementary school. One day, I swear to you this is true, Any, anyone else a rural Andy? One day for show and tell, a girl who lived on a farm brought in a cow's heart and lungs for show and tell. Um, it was the third grade, and I just remember that like, what you see uh, like in a textbook is not really, it's, it's merely an approximation of what uh, the organs actually look like. I expected it would be like two bags and like a, an artist depiction of a heart. It was actually just like a pile of salami and then like a, a red and black ball underneath. And I was, even as like third grade, I was like, this shit is too much. <laughs> I was like, she shouldn't have brought that in. <laughs> One of the other kids brought in like M&M cookies and she was like, check it out. It's an animal's cardiovascular system. But it also, I mean, it's a good lesson to learn, I guess. But it is, it's, it's all just meat in there, man. That's crazy. What's the lesson? I don't know. It's fucking, it's gross inside. Not all lessons have to be actionable. Sometimes they could just teach you something about the world. Is rural Ontario still rural Ontario? I wonder that sometimes. Because I've been, and I, not just Ontario, but I, you know, I've been living in the city for a long time. It's like I forget, like when I left, Kingston was like fish and chips, french fries, poutine, hamburgers. And now every time I go to Kingston, I expect it to be like traveling like, you know, 15 years back in the past. But it's actually like, you know, pho, sushi, 900 different uh, like boba tea restaurants. And I'm like, dude, it's like the culture has changed a lot, even in like the decade that I've been away. I wonder what this shit is like in, you know, like Greater Napanee. Like in Greater Napanee, are they still rocking the combination Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Mr. Sub? 
Or are they out there like, oh, I'm ordering from like, you know, Dragon Sushi Napanee. I'm getting a, I'm getting a, a Toro roll. Yeah, what's going on in Petawawa? What's, what's the number one food on the streets of Petawawa right now? Have you ever had curry from Mango in Kingston? What an insane, hyper-specific question. Of course I've had curry from Mango on Princess Street. I'll tell you, I, I feel bad for the Mango restaurant. In university, I had never eaten there. And then one of my friends ate there in first year, and he said it wasn't very good. I told everybody I knew anytime I walked by it, which was all the time, because downtown Kingston's not that big. And I would go like, oh yeah, apparently that place is not very good. Then like 11 years later, I ate there, and I was like, what the fuck, this place is amazing. <laughs> or at least it's, it's pretty good. I was putting out a hit on their business via word of mouth for like a decade on hearsay. And then I ate it myself, and I was like, this dude didn't know what he was talking about. I would come back here any day. I mean, there's a lot of good... Asian food in downtown Kingston. I know you're going to say, really? But I'm telling you, there's some great Thai and Cambodian down there. My girlfriend lives on the same street as that restaurant. Okay, with no disrespect, it's Princess Street, bro. Everybody's girlfriend lives on that street. My ex-girlfriend lived on that street, actually, in Kingston as well. Is it downtown Kingston? You're either on Princess or maybe Brock. And then, you I don't know, maybe if you're a little bougie, you get down into like that King Street West area, but... Or if she's at the university, you never know. Maybe she's uh, Albert, Alfred, Frontenac, University Avenue. If she's North of Princess, you know, I might ask you, you sure the relationship's worth it? You don't want to be walking North of Princess in the wintertime, brother. That's like, you know, from campus, that's like a 20-minute walk. Minus 22 degrees Celsius. I better, you better have a nice winter coat. Let's put it that way. I lived on Johnson Street right across from the Ark. Hey, that's where I saw... Um, a drunk dude when they were building the Ark, because I'm older than you, uh, I saw a drunk dude after Trivia Night at the Grad Club climb into one of the construction cranes that they had just left on site, and he was like driving that shit around, and everyone was just, there was no photos really back then, everyone was just laughing at him and going, whoa, dude! Uh, I wonder how he's doing. He's probably like a senior engineer in charge of like wastewater management at the largest wastewater treatment plant in Ontario, if I had to guess. The university, the engineering program does pump out some illustrious alumni. You went to Waterloo? Waterloo, where the vampires sleep? No, I did not go to Waterloo. You got me confused with Michael A.L. Fox. I got into Waterloo, but then my parents gave me a sweetheart deal to stay in my hometown, which is how I ended up being able to eat curry at Mango. <laughs> Waterloo, where they killed Napoleon? Bro, you, you guys don't know shit about Napoleon. Bro died in exile. He lost the war at, at Waterloo. Napoleon, you gotta slow down. Your tactics are too swag. Your bitch is too hot. They're gonna fucking kill you. Except they won't. They'll just exile you again. I would have killed Napoleon. Just my two cents. I don't really know the historical ramifications of it. But like, he was like the emperor of France and conquered a lot of Europe. Then they beat his ass and they said, go to this island. Dude broke out and said, fuck it, I'll do it again. I'm not exiling that dude twice. I'm sorry. Just, we have to learn our lesson. They already killed like hundreds of thousands of people during the wars, but they're like, Napoleon's a step to- No! What kind of lesson will we give to the, the people of Europe if we commit one more murder? It ends today. Bro, look up where St. Helena is on a map. Hang on, St. Helena. All right, they, they exiled his ass for sure. I thought that it was like a little island, like maybe off the coast of Spain. They really sent this dude to the chokey. It is in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in, the, in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> no, he was out, out. Bro, how did he get out? Oh, he, did, he got out of L, but he didn't get out of this one. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> First time was just in the Mediterranean. It's so fucked up, dude. Napoleon was like a war criminal. They were like, enjoy your vacation. 
They sent him to a, a tropical island. Well, this is not tropical, but a Mediterranean island. How's your how's prison, Napoleon? It's hell! They've got eight different kinds of olives. The pizza's got crispy edges and lots of toppings. What is what are they doing at these Greek restaurants with the pizza? Greek pizza, most underrated pizza of all time. I'm not just talking about like feta on a pizza. I'm talking about like you go to a Greek restaurant and they got pizza on the menu. I'm telling you, try the pizza. I know you're gonna be like, no, I'm here for su souflaki. I'm here for spanakopita. I'm here for domates. I'm telling you, try, try a little Greek pizza too. I'm, I'm zooming in on Saint Helena here. Yeah, there's not a lot going on. It's like beaches, hiking trails. They shouldn't have put Napoleon here. There's a damn airport. It's too easy to escape. We have a Starbucks. I'm trying to see, they got some guest houses. They got some forts, some waterfalls, cemetery, a couple of bars, restaurant called Tasty Bites, Chad's shop, human rights office. That's rich. Oh, and yet you welcome Napoleon with open arms. You probably didn't really have much of a choice. It was messed up. I bought pineapple spears at Costco yesterday. On the, on the container, it says product of Canada. I said, that's fucking crazy. I don't think there's any place in Canada where you can grow pineapples. Like, buy it. Take it home. Not that there's anything wrong with this. I just don't like uh, liars. Look at the, uh, the container. And it says pineapples, product of Costa Rica. What the fuck did they do in Canada that is now called a Canadian product? They grew that shit in Costa Rican soil. Costa Ricans harvested it, shipped it to Canada. A Canadian cut it into eights and then said, yep, that's, that's a Canadian good now. What are you talking about? They didn't do anything. They put that shit in a pineapple cutting machine and, and shipped it to Costco. LeBron James. What is this? 2018? What LeBron James. That's some old school stuff, man. You're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Real nice, Ron. What? I can't <laughs> sneeze? <laughs> I'm uh, really... I really fight for every American's God-given right to see a road work ahead sign and go. Yeah. I sure hope it does. <laughs> Nice, Ron. I sneezed. Oh, I'm not what I miss? What I miss? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, nice, Ron. Nice, Ron. I sneezed. Oh, I'm, I not, sneezed. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze? He's doing it. Say it again. He's doing it a second time. I'm watching <laughs> it now. Oh. <laughs> nice, Ron. I sneezed. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze. He, and dude, I've just realized I'm watching it now. She's about to go off at the end of the video, too. Oh, she's cutting it because she's about to... Uh, yeah. Really... Like, he goes, I sneezed. I'm not allowed to sneeze. And she goes, Yuck! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ryan. I sneezed. I'm, just, oh, just, I'm not allowed to sneeze. I'm imagining when you unmuted, all you heard was Ryan go, <laughs> I heard the last second of it. I heard like... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just calling He's you just sneezing. nice, Ron. He's being rude. I'm not being rude. It's nice, Ron. He's sneezing like a motherfucker. Aw, oh, God Ooh. bless you. <laughs> Sorry. I like, I like that. Vines that slap. <laughs> Look at this oh my God. I forget YouTube has autoplay. Oh, which one'd you get? Look at this graph. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's so funny that that's what's scary to Ryan because of the. Like, he's it so is, yeah, that's exactly that it. probably lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> You guys you, see the video of the guy on Twitter shooting his dick? No! What? <laughs> you your dick? Oh no! Oh, I hope a, his dick wasn't stinky. A, it was a video, and it was title. The the title is just like, oh, just a warning. Like this is straight up just a video of a guy shooting himself in the cock. Do not watch it. And then, like, the top reply was like, dang, that was a guy shooting himself in the cock. And then the <laughs> OP, OP replied and said, 
Yeah, why'd you watch it? <laughs> but the only interactions with Twitter I have now is you and Justin linking me the most unhinged shit imaginable every other night. Bro, there's some good <laughs> shit on there, man. You, you, didn't, Did you, you didn't like the guy that posted, should I come on the play? No. <laughs> you really hated that. Uh, you really hated uh, that, that one. Oh, that was great. Did you like the guy I posted today? Oh, that guy's great. Yeah, that's awesome. That was, uh, that was actually from a tweet someone else made, but it's from a Zillow listing. That's incredible. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. the, blue guy. The, the come on the plane guy, like, made me object, like, just oh, yeah, no, that, extremely that guy upset. Should be so that fucking guy should be horny on the plane. Yeah. He should be thrown rock. out of the very plane. I laid my coat over my lap, unzipped my pants, and released my swollen rod. Swollen. <laughs> 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 should I come? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he should be on the no fly so list. So bad. No, 100% he should be on the no fly list. You're not allowed yeah. to do that. Oh, the face he's making in the Terrible. picture it was like genuinely more upsetting than anything he actually said. No, yeah, I do love that it was accompanied with like a super millennial selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say something. I don't think this is even that controversial. Anybody who's ever fucked on an airplane should uh, be on the no fly list. Yeah, no, I no. guess yeah. I'll never fly Jeez. again. Jeez. I, I don't care that you had sex. I just need to use the bathroom so I don't shit myself. Don't yeah, don't I don't involve me. I'm not a character in your escapades, okay? Like that's the that's for pissing and shitting, bro. Yeah, the, I, the vine with the girl coming out of the bathroom, and then five seconds later, the guy comes out of the bathroom, and then it goes. Maybe shitting bang, together. Bang, 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 bang. You're, Was the person on the Air Canada flight that had violent diarrhea all over the plane and they had to like yeah, not they had to delay the flight so that they could have a cleaning crew come in and like clean the about plane? That. About fucking time, am I right, dude? No, they ain't cleaning those planes. They, dude, I, they, they dude, are these way, <laughs> dude is yes ending later. you to put out a Jerry Seinfeld bit. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's right, though. <laughs> I've never fucked on a plane. I've never came on a plane. <laughs> yeah, I'm too, uh, I don't know. I, I used to be super nervous on a plane, so there's no way I was jacking off. I hate, I hate when they're, the they're landing and the plane dips by like like 15 oh, degrees to the yeah, left. There's like, been, well, that's Dallas where I'm, once. this is how I'm dying. It happened right, like, so in uh, Love Field, uh, there's, uh, they fly you right by the skyscrapers, and it dipped real close to them. We weren't, like, visually, it looked close. We were probably, like, fucking hundreds of feet away. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Probably even thousands, but, like, man, it did not feel good, because we dipped, like, it must have been, like, 50 feet or something. People, like, a couple people <laughs> screamed on the plane. Oh, I love those people. I love those people. I, I don't, I don't, like... It was, legit, it was a legit reason to scream. It dropped out <laughs> real hard. I have not I, I kind of like turbulence. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Shit's it's that's like weird. I feel like a baby in a in like a crib, like being rocked, <laughs> violently rocked. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. Like, I mean, I guess, but if you just close your eyes and try to sleep, it's like, ooh, someone cares about me and they're rocking my crib, bro. Yeah, they're dropping you like 150 feet <laughs> in a second. <laughs> Yeah, but that's fine. Just like rocking in a crib. It's like the it's all relaxing Dude, until nothing. the old person next to you has a heart attack, and then it's real fucking awkward because nothing... you have to call the flight attendant, but you have social anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> that went on for a while. Nothing's worse than landing no. in either Vegas or Phoenix, dude. Oh my Frequent that flyers will while. tell you, yeah, landing over a hot desert is the worst thing you could ever do. That went on for a while. <laughs> 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 oh, I have to plug it in a webcam. I'm gonna fucking do it. My ass is gonna for the plug it in a webcam. Oh, like six minutes, oh no, man. I'm. What yeah. is gonna happen if. What if it's gonna happen if I join the lobby? It's not gonna show your face. You get the choice to take a picture or draw yourself. Yeah, Brian's the only okay. one that has a phone, so. <laughs> Did, oh, what? You guys don't have phones? <laughs> take a picture? Will it. Wait, which. <laughs> I have a perfect picture. Me too. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, I see Corey's got the Otagla. <laughs> <laughs> you like mine? Oh my god. <laughs> Should I come? I tried to look as, I tried to look as yeah. shitty as I could, but it kind of looks like I'm coming, right? It does look like the Should I Come guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the way that this works is they give us uh, items in this category, and then we choose who would be this from our group. Who would be each Definitely. of those things? Okay, I'm glad it wasn't Sesame Street because that's. Oh, you don't know Elmo, Cookie Monster, Big Bird, about it. Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. Those are all Sesame Streets. So, on your device, oh, you've got the names of your uh, One of these is ac an actual Drive plan I have. Um, <laughs> oh, who's gonna get we'll dropped in GoFundMe? Let's <laughs> get <laughs> like, <What>? insulted. <laughs> is that insulting? A little bit, I guess. <laughs> I can't I can't imagine who's gonna get stuck in GoFundMe. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if you put me, I'm fucking pissed, bro. I've been talking I about put, like befriending elderly people at a rest home and then taking all their money when they die for years. I I 99% <laughs> should be like instantly. You can 99%? I 99% of Ryan. Whoa! You only want to know how to code. The outliers. Why? Oh my god. That's our Yay! Oh, I'm I literally like not even... Did I not put you and put on a show? So you Apparently not. Uh, Whatever your answers match yeah, that's group. when I realized you couldn't, Whoever like, put multiple people in. This is like a donkey home. show, right? <laughs> I dragged you out of it. <clears throat> I, I dragged someone else into it to put you out of it. Man, I'm killing it lately on my newest one. Don't worry. Well. Yes, I'm marrying a rich elderly person, bro. That's and one of my I dreams. I think I got every single one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking about this. That's a, that's a good idea. Yep. Oh. oh! That means we get to do an experiment to see who gets the roll. I follow. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was by default. It was by default. For their rent. Vote on your devices now. <laughs> for an gets online the fundraiser for oh. their rent. Oh, it's like oh. even more insulting. It's more oh. insulting. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel. Um, can we not do this? <laughs> who's done, who's done more subathons? I, I don't pay rent. I, I was pay say, a only, mortgage. No, so. no. Oh. Got rent, so. It still counts. It still counts. There's our okay. lineup. Hey, uh, I got I got a perfect score. Don't forget, you get those. Wow, you guys get a, you guys get a mess out from a man. See, I think it's a great question. That shit pissed me. No, mates. you said I wasn't allowed to answer, which was kind of problematic. And then he said, <laughs> That's true. He said, he said, he said if there's like a list, who are you picking? And I said, whoever looks nice. And he's like, that's fucked up, bro. Yeah, because how do you know if they're nice just based on their picture? I read their little blurb that's like, on the weekend, they love to go hiking, and they own a German Shepherd named Rufus. And I'm like, oh, we can talk about Rufus. I don't. I don't like not massages, these guys but picking 2014 White House. What is well, wrong with cowards. you? Don't put me as the nervous intern, bro. I was joking about the social anxiety. You're. You're. I, <laughs> I put myself as Joe, man. Why not? You're out of your name, mind, Chipley. Name five. Name five women. Chipley, name five women. So five women. Five women. Five women. Five women. <laughs> he didn't know her. That's Chibley just learned her name. So sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Chib is the dog? I don't think so, Tim. Yippee. I think this yeah, is Tim. wrong as hell. You guys Obama. are wrong as hell. That's me. I'm Barack Obama. He's I the voted Obama Ryan Parker. as Joe Biden. <laughs> hey, my queen. My wife. That 99 what? Barack Obama. <laughs> after seeing Borat. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> the dude that like was mad because he got banned in the chat for Borat quoting, and then he was like, I don't know what I did wrong, and then you someone really was like, Well, you said a slur, and he's like, I'm just quoting the video. fucking movie Borat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, let me be clear. Uh, we'll never get this. I don't remember how the game works. I mean. Who would that picture is like really scary <clears throat> which one <laughs> ryan's <laughs> <laughs> it is a, a weird... facetime call and that is what you see bro i'm dropping the phone what does yours say on the the tail end of your drawing vote on your devices now oh, it tells mine us say something? Never mind. 
Doesn't it? It looks like he wrote a word. It's teeth. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I drew, I drew a penis, what? but I thought that penises weren't allowed, so I... <laughs> so you put, uh, tits on. <laughs> it looks like... No, <laughs> It looks like that hat that all the kids used to wear when we were in like the third grade, Mal. Yeah, yeah, like the sock hat. Like the kind of hat you would take off to say, you know, go see what was the matter with the clatter on the night before oh, Christmas. Oh, yes. Yeah, man. The okay, little pointy triangle the sock thing. Yeah. Yeah, they were. that was a third grade era thing. I That's a classic. Jesus that. Christ, Ghibli. <laughs> oh, I'm being confident. They said I had to fit the role. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Is that fucked up? <laughs> I'm not, I don't think it's fucked up. Thank you. He's right. No y'all are, winner there. Y'all are fucking two all weeks ago. Points, Osama we're bin Laden's great. Oh, <laughs> 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 Wait, what was that the week I was gone? What the fuck? <laughs> what did I miss? Do you think he was watching Twitch streams? He had a lot of games. He was a right? gamer, right? He was a gamer. No, apparently he he bought it was a second hand computer. That's why he had all the games on there. Well, how do you know? Yeah, that that's what he told his wife. Yeah, I sold it to him, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like like six year old Ghibli. Holy cow! You should have been Barack Obama then. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is Which mean. Of the <laughs> oh my god. This is Wait. meaner than I wanted now. I'd like to it's go back. so mean. <laughs> I don't um, know what to do, man. I'm trying to start with who's our horniest. Uh, <laughs> <I> wonder, <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Motherfucker really just said who's the horniest. That's just funny as hell. What? Uh. Uh, Who is the horniest? Huh? I don't. I don't hmm. believe in like half of these, but I'm just. Going yeah, yeah. No hard feelings. No hard <laughs> feelings, but I did 99% one, and I'm so. Calm. I did 99% yeah, 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 one. Same. <laughs> I 99%ed you, Apollo. Mm. Let's see, let's see. I would have done mine if I didn't do yours. <laughs> wow. I don't know what sin I commit. Let's find out. Okay. Who you are. I'd be real chip. You got the leftovers. <laughs> Thank me. you. That, uh, that's actually what? a compliment. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, whatever, uh, Mr. 101. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> what the hell, man? This is bang on, though. This this is bang think, on. And I think this is like, like you're like a you're like a cute little guy. <laughs> you're hanging from a tree. Don't try to justify it, because what you just said is worse than just being called a sloth. What? To be a cute little okay, guy? There. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not a picture, Justin. <laughs> I was I was trying to look like shit. <laughs> I was trying to look like shit. <laughs> wow! We all wanted Justin. different people. <laughs> Nobody wanted to use gluttony. <laughs> God. What would you choose for right now? That's why Mouth loves food, man. I do love food. My favorite sure Justin fact is after he uh, has sex, he giggles. That not real? <laughs> you make me sound like a maniac. <laughs> We are about yeah, to go to the meal. bathroom. Justin in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear me giggling up in store. <laughs> That's <Oops>. the raw data. <laughs> I was typing. Sonya with three. <laughs> the zoomer, the zoomer on death row would be like, "Can I get on?" Um... Sonya <laughs> with three. <laughs> What does the, the with three mean? I I, I was I, I was gonna be like with three cheeses. Oh, not your ass is giving you? gluttony to the guy who can't even eat enough to maintain. Well, I voted for you on this one, but you you should not be gluttony. <laughs> this was Ryan. I'm I'm he's right. I'm pride. I I cannot believe you guys would agree. That shit, my ego that wounds it. easily. This guy won though. But also I'm right, and this fucker's wrath. He's not gluttony. You guys are okay. Corey? Corey's not Rothful in the slightest! I'm Rothful. <laughs> <laughs> Corey!
Sorry, it's because we all had one already. <laughs> already. <laughs> he, got, he got so <laughs> mad he went British. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I feel like I'm going insane. This is all bad. It's all messed up. <laughs> Maybe Ryan is wrath. Oh, he's going blue. I'm pride. Apollo's wrath, man. I voted myself for it. I know. These guys are doing. I voted Justin because you know sometimes the least angry. Sometimes he goes on a wrath. Oh, wrathful. Vote on your devices now. Oh, barrel with suspenders is a good one. But you got suspenders in there, dude. That's fucked up. You don't, you don't see that many motherfuckers walking around downtown wearing a barrel with suspenders Barrels anymore. are heavy, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never been to Niagara Falls, man. man. <laughs> we were all thinking the same thing on that one. Well... I think it's more of a show-off to cut someone's face off and wear it for three hours straight, <laughs> but... We've got all the data we need. Here come your final well, roles, dude. as determined by yes. everything your fellow lab rats said about you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well then. Uh, Alrighty. Oh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the picture. Why is it so, why is so big? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is, uh, there's some truth to this. Yeah, the penny pincher for sure. <laughs> Mouth looks Mouth. like a cross. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, you go, you do it. Mouth looks like Between a cross a between a potato and my dog's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But your Damn. mouth. Dogs? Yes. Yeah. Have you heard about the <laughs> big bad wolf down. challenge? That's where oh. you exercise till you huff and puff. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so every exercise ever. Uh, actual joke, actual joke. Jokes okay, to eat fruit snacks too. Render your verdict. Uh -huh. True. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no! You won, no, no, but right? oh, I guess you did get more points because of that, but. Well, that's okay, it's the last time we ever played Joke Boat. What? No, I like a Joke Boat because it sucks great. shit and like there's no reason why. I call my bedroom the Cuba because Havana have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Upsetting, right. man. That's good. Uh, Sorry, Apollo, it's Joe before you do. <laughs> no, no, man. My nickname is Slow Cooker because I last a long time and can take any sized meat. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, I have to come clean with all this, like, plager plagers and shit going on. Oh, I no. stole the medium rare joke from, like, an eight year old. So, guys, I fucking did. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what we all knew the that. Fuck? So that's fine. Have you ever tried CPAP masking? That's when you see Papa and mask your feet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dang, bro. <laughs> Do I get a joke? <laughs> so unhinged, man. It doesn't fucking... <laughs> Are you okay, Mel? Like, oh, I, I love my dad. <laughs> no one else on the planet. Like, you really, like, that's so unique. No one else would write that. Oh, wow. I loved it. <laughs> oh, wow. Ryan wrote that. Who could have known? Our next comic Because I'm so okay. greedy, right? Here comes an absolute stinger, dude. Um, How many monsters does it take to change a light bulb? <clears throat> Three, one to screw it in, and two to one, but he might not want to turn on the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did I write the three bot? My I brain, my brain hurts. <laughs> Why did it do that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a group of babies walk into a bar. 
and get drunk as fuck and do backflips off the stools. <laughs> okay. Spend a lot of time on this Sorry. subject, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Why did it write like half of my joke for me? I didn't write three one to well, screw it. Did you run out of time? It always does that. <laughs> no. that one. The three one to screw it in and two two is always there. <laughs> And then that's, I wrote one, but he might not want to turn on the light. It's okay, Chip. It made it better. <laughs> it did make it 100% better. I didn't even vote. Oh, my God. Two to one. one. Whoa. He is devastating. Two to one. But he might not want to turn on the lights. And that was a point for you as well. Jesus Christ, man. My love life is like Gavin. Gavin myself a good old wank. <laughs> I don't even know what my answer is, but I'd vote for that. <laughs> What's the difference between most people and dicks? One of them sucks and one of them I want to suck. Thanks. <laughs> They're both very good. Holy cow, people <laughs> brought their A game Having on that. Having myself the a good old yeah, wank is <laughs> That's so fucking good, <laughs> I still can't get over three, two to one. <laughs> two to one. <laughs> <laughs> they might not want to turn the lights on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that oh, yeah, that's fine. I accept that. <laughs> Oh, Not man. beating the lust allegations. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny how genuinely shocked you were. <laughs> I don't remember what I put. Have you heard about the Big Bad Wolf challenge? That's where you go up to Jordan of Wall Street and say he's not part of the Turbo Team. <laughs> The Who's Jordan of Wall Street. Street. I couldn't what? remember. Is it Belfour? <laughs> What's his ah. last name? Uh, I still don't know what you're <laughs> <laughs> The Wolf of Wall Street. I think yeah, the Wolf the of Wall Street. It's oh. physically impossible to predict what mouth <laughs> is. Not, no AI could possibly replicate this. Oh, no. No, not twice wow. in a row. What the heck? <laughs> How do you get more points? Oh, because joke for me. Yep. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to catch Chibli, guys. No. no. Chibli's got this one in the back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Out. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Holy. 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 That's me. Ooh, me. Okay, let me let me figure out how to get Survive the Internet going here. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a free <sighs> password game. Everyone knows how to play this, right? Mm, yeah, just uh, make your friends look as bad as possible. Hey, you, yeah, it's like one of those where you have to answer the first question earlier. honestly. You don't you don't lie on the first one. Before we, okay, let's get into well. it. Let's start things off. No, then. Mal. <laughs> <laughs> it ruins the game if you don't do it. I don't know. You can be funny with the second one. The first one is just to put the setup. Oh, it's taking people out of context. Yes. yes. Okay, now he yeah. remembers. I like this one because you can be bland on your answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be like, like how do you feel In about that? In fact, taxes? the more like, blander, the better. Do you regret your decisions? It's too late now. No. No, I doubt. <clears throat> new COVID booster available to protect against new strains of virus. I think the people who make them aren't as smart as they think they are. <laughs> wow. All right, all right, that's, that's on the line. I'll take it. Would wow. you vote for a woman <laughs> president? I respect the opinion, even though it's not really for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Underground Russian roulette people. They terrify me and I never watch them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick up 20 TVs from Best Buy? How many TVs do you fucking need, bro? <laughs> what would you say to civil rights activists? Pieces of shit. <laughs> Someone out there is sick, bro. Uh, Someone with social anxiety walks into a room. What do you do? Listen to them talk and ask questions in response. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. Who was mean to me? <laughs> I don't know, man. Why'd you say that? 
I didn't know it'd paint me in such a bad light, dude. In like Your 20, 27, it, a social media platform's gonna look exactly like this, and someone's gonna post <laughs> a screenshot. And be like, why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Here's what people think. Oh. Ooh. What do you think, audience? Oh. Here's who burned you. Me. Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Oh, we got 11% more. Oh. I don't really understand what audience? underground Russian roulette people mean. Yeah, I have no idea I what's don't going on either. It's like people that like to play <laughs> Russian roulette. You gotta do it underground. It's not legal. Yeah, well, I, I kind of understand <laughs> the spirit, I guess. The hell? Climate change floods entire coastal zone. Thousands without homes. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll be fishing. <laughs> Nine-year-old boy invents miracle cancer drug. Straight up dickhead. Seriously, gotta stop saying this shit. Mud wrestling 2016 world championship. Brenda Tinkle versus Irene Ford. Cake swamp. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a I think that's a sleeper hit cake swamp. There's something about cake, cake swamp. swamp. Cake swamp. Right? <laughs> oh, okay. let's go. Let's go. No. It was really good. Oh, it was very good. Oh no. Sixteen points. Nothing but a day's work, man. <laughs> <laughs> You got three points. Is Fox News good? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> don't it's, know it's the best news channel. Yeah, it's the only fair and balanced one, honestly. Okay. I like the idea of radicalizing Ghibli in a bad way. Accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Just we'll start talking to him about like what was on Newsmax today. Chibli, did you watch Newsmax today? No, no. What was uh, it? Is it good? It's good. You're not gonna believe what happened with this Hunter Biden stuff, brother. Oh, three months of soup. That's pretty tight. Oh yeah, oh, soup. Out. Soup enthusiast. Soup. You got ten seconds. Soup, Chibli. soup, soup. Bill Nye the In Another World, Bill Nye the Soup Guy, Bill Nye. <laughs> soup, 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 soup. Help yeah. Apollo pay his rent. It's fun, but way too expensive. Rod Sucker, the flashlight with machine learning. Do you experience joy? Uh, okay. <laughs> Tucker Carlson canceled by Fox. Let's get him back on the air. I love it. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> Little Billy's Leukemia Fund. I don't like feeling pressure to spend money on others to show them my love. That was a really good one. Ooh. Apollo's <laughs> evil today, dude. What the hell? I lost Ryan on the last Foolish. one. That is true. I got. I think I have more points than I did the entire last game. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> seven. Man. What the fuck? It I sucks down here. I had to look up how to spell leukemia. Me when I'm in the, the hole that sucks your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Me after I fell in the hole that sucks you off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the end of the game to pee. Just go in a bag. Oh. Go in a bag. <laughs> Not even a bottle, bro. He did say bag. bag. <laughs> I just wonder if Mel's pissed in a bag before. Here's your clay. Now Mel, I have not. I mm. Ziploc once when I was eight. I but it was know. in a field and there was a battery in it. It's a long story. <laughs> What does this word mean? It's how, how Ryan, how do you know you have Ryan's answers? You gotta Google one of the What? Words. 
No, I think you know what my words mean. I you probably got some mean. overcooked mouth sous vide Maybe. over there. Oh, the song was getting so good, bro. Peter Griffin. America loves him because they lack real father figures. <laughs> I love Peter Griffin. Delicious. I love him. Hashtag diarrhea. <laughs> Is that a poop joke? Uh, Eat shit, loser. I'm finally out of here. <laughs> okay, okay. Hashtag oh, sheeting it. <laughs> It's crazy because my question was, what do you think about Peter Griffin? <laughs> Dude, love him or hate him, Peter Griffin does sound funny when he says, Hey, Lois, that shit is good, bro. It gets me every time. Every time. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Peter. <laughs> I don't know. I, the formatting always freaks with me a little bit. Um, uh, me when I'm, uh, me when I'm a hard drive. <laughs> Shot thirty-two. That, that is the craziest loss Jesus to that. Christ. He loved it, dude. <laughs> he loves it, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, I don't know how I come up with it, man. Okay, you knucklehead. I typed. Here we go. One second. Uh, oh, no. Bill Clinton. <laughs> I had a child with her. <laughs> Proud boys to protest in Virginia this weekend. Really nice folks. Glad to have them here. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Sounds about right. Joe Biden through president, no president, a dude <laughs> who runs president. around shooting every, I can't even read it in time. <laughs> oh my God. Grimace, huge <laughs> knockers and always gives long hugs. That's real good. <laughs> Joe Biden, the president, a dude who runs around shooting everyone and gets uncomfortably close to too many women. Do you, so, can you guess what my prompt was based on? Definitely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, Tommy Versetti. No, describe Tommy James Versetti. Bond to an alien. <laughs> that That's pretty prompt. good. A British yeah. spy. <laughs> A British spy. That's pretty They're good, too. They're not going to know what Britain is. A British yeah, or spy. Or what spy means. They're an alien. They're probably not going to know what also, shooting everyone or women or English. <laughs> Those are vaguer words, at least. Oh, man. Oh. All right, I got one point. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that picture. Um, Dude, that looks so good. a nice bowl with my favorite hand jerk to dressing. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Scum jerk. That cheese. The perfect view. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> New fursona? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was eating an orange. Ah, uh, <laughs> 2001. <laughs> Holy Ghibli. shit. <laughs> ben Franklin ain't shit. <laughs> He's all fucking good. This is a great round. Great. Yeah, great Holy round. shit. Oh. Finally, some real patriots. <laughs> I get it. Is that an AI photo? That looks so weird. Okay, That's great. Oh, oh, holy shit. Round. Incredible. Honestly. Fuck Why did me. I want to say Chibli for that one? <laughs> Mine was the hand, the hand Gen jug dressing, bro. I don't make cum jokes. Genuinely hard to pick. Oh, That's my a God. Great round. Great round. Great round. <laughs> That salad looks so good, though, man. Yeah, it's a it dope does. salad. I want the cum salad. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> 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 yeah. Dang. I think it was Justice. Okay, guys. It was Ghibli! <laughs> <laughs> He's too young to remember it. That's why. He's too Chibli. young. I said Ghibli. Oh my god. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. 
Let him go. <clears throat> well done, Shibley. So I redeemed myself. This is I, this is an aside, but I choose the like the rides that the egg carton does on the Peloton. And I put one on last week, and it started with like a three-minute somber tribute to 9-11. And I was like, <laughs> oh I, I failed the vibe check big time. There were like six other <laughs> people riding with me, and I was like, oh, man, they're going to judge me. And then right after that, the instructor played CNC Music Factory, Everybody Dance Now. It was like the, <laughs> the sharpest <laughs> left turn you could possibly make out of that. It was like... Was it uh, Matt Wilpers? It was. And he was like, okay, now now that we've had our moment for that, it was just like, dang, 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 dang. Oh, fucking, <laughs> I fucking knew it was him. No Gene this week. Sorry. Oh, no Gene. Everybody's yeah, nuts yeah. are safe. For now. No, I'm, I'm still getting my nuts on the table, dude. All right, nuts, on the, nuts, table, away. nuts on the table, Yo, check it out. I love This game really is like, hope you don't get screwed by the format of the <laughs> first line. It does, sometimes it'll say like, a thing you can suck, and then you type dick, and then the first line it gives you is like, I was sucking my, I was sucking a dick, and you're like, well, I'm arguing from a position of weakness already. <laughs> well, I think that's a kind of a position of strength, you hold all the power. Yeah, wait, what do you mean, man? Not mine. Well, I smell a fire. Ryan, what did you mean by that? There's not too many rappers who started this track with like, I had a, a dick in my mouth, you know? We haven't, we haven't reached that yet. Oh, nothing wrong with sucking dick, Ryan. Yeah, I'm Ryan. No. Your dick, maybe. Wait, what? Thank you. Why, I don't, why is it asking me for a preposition? What the fuck? My reaction after I type a word and then they give me the word that I typed. No, it's the words that precede it. They were like put in a cheese, feta. You better run, my, my cum is thicker than feta. You're like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you got crumbly cum. You kept asking me scrumbly cum. I ran out of time. Brian's talking. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta not listen to him, man. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I'm first him too. Fuck! Uh, he played me. You gotta watch out for Ryan. He rhymes was, at least. I do know I how to lose rhyme. Anyway. I do know oh, how to I rhyme. rhymed. I keep success in my pocket next to my hand. You're so sweet, you're the king of Candyland. I'm from the future. My game is next gen nice. AVGN eats chicken and rice. <laughs> What the yeah, hell? What did he do? AVGN. Hey, yeah. he's in the playthrough video, video, all right? The yeah. angry video game nerd, bro. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh. I'm so good at scary. Call me, call oh, MC, call me cool. MC Mothra. Spicy as shit, that's the brothia. My flow's so strong, call me the Mississippi Cliff Spliff. <laughs> Man, why couldn't I go up against one of these guys? <laughs> <laughs> My bars were fire, dude. I, I typed in Mothra and then it gave me back. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I said I forgot how it worked immediately. My game is stupid. Yeah. I'm next gen nice. AVGN needs uh, chicken and rice. That's a, that's a bar, man. It doesn't make any good. sense, man. Yeah. He does! But like, oh. who cares? Yeah, <laughs> new kids on the block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes Corey, me you sick. Got robbed on that one. Oh, he's making a list and checking it twice. He's gonna go home and eat chicken and rice. The angry video game nerd is here. <laughs> he's huge. I'm so heavy, your light is a blanket. I'm doing variety. You're playing Isaac. Damn, that's true. To reach the next level, you gotta be grinning. Old ass, I'm older, but stay winning. Okay, that's fire. That's fire. Isaac like and always can't. stay winning would have been a bit like. <clears throat> Your new rapper name should be MC Telescope of James Webb because you're seeing <laughs> stars like Governor Jeb. Here, let me paint you a fence. It's Jesus giving the finger. I painted a fence. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Jesus Christ. Justin, you got murdered. one. Offense. I don't know. Ryan has the issue of his first line being so bad with the second line. Were you telescope of James Webb? 
<laughs> what was See, the prompt they gave you? It said any word. James <laughs> <laughs> Webb. Well, I can't rhyme with telescope, so I'm not putting James Webb telescope. Telescope? Cope? Nope. A lot. A show? Oh, man. <laughs> so many. I'm the punchline. You're the genius. Punch me and you'll be feeling this. <laughs> My mad rhymes will blow you to Mount Doom. Kiss the ring, bitch, because I'm sleeping in your room. Now we gotta move on. Go, go, son. All right, all right. I'll make you cower like a little tiny. <laughs> Whiny man, how is this head so shiny? <laughs> no dress rehearsal, this is a threesome. Never mind, took off your pants, that shit kind of fearsome. Oh. Oh, like, <laughs> His penis is ugly. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. So what? Okay. <laughs> See, kiss the ring, because Mountain Doom, Frodo. Oh! I don't know if people picked up on that. And layer. then, like, no, when they really go to good. the inn and uh, Strider has to sleep in the same room as the hobbits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And they're scared. Oh. No, no, we got it. Well, some people might not have got it. Some people have watched Lord of the Rings. That was a I hot battle. School, true. I'm MC James Webb te Telescope oh, of It was James horrible. Huh? I feel like you could have just not put in Telescope and James Webb would have just been <laughs> fine. But the James Webb Telescope was seeing stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. New Ghibli oh noise! New Ghibli noise! Oh my, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I closed my eyes so hard I could see blue pixels, bro. <laughs> we could be tight if your skills weren't so stinky. After you lose, we're gonna chop off your winky. <laughs> oh no! One look at you and I want to defeat. Like Quentin Tarantino when he look at defeat. <laughs> nice. He did it again! He did it again! Good, <laughs> good. You rhyme the same word with the same word. Your game is ancient, like Pong. Crank on, my Crank on my paddle, that's what I call my dong. I'm a master musician, you're a small time cook. Churning out tunes, you're still reading a how-to cookbook. <laughs> Wait, Corey, you got a flat cock? Uh, right now. Wait, flat? Oh, it's out on the table, my nuts are out. You flattened it for that? <laughs> well, how else? There's like nothing funnier than a rap line with too many syllables in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, wow. wow. They hate me? <laughs> they hate you. Your rhymes, Your rhymes got me sleepy, need my toothbrush. Wait one, Wait one second, forgot to give you a brush. <laughs> Suckers everywhere, imitating my huge naturals. But these shits are real, and that's just factual. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, that's cool. Not bad. I get it. Guy <laughs> who thinks that is what made me lose my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, the, what, what got you to huge naturals? An attractive qu uh, quality. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it's because of the society's beauty standards and not my personal belief. Okay. What are you like? Uh, tiny fakes. <laughs> no, I have no, no opinions. I have no opinions. Uh, don't sit me up like why are you, you set it, it up! Me up? <laughs> you said oh, would you get a message from a guy and I said yeah and he said why and I said I mean I'll just pick who looked nice and he said that's more fucked up than a few fucking <laughs> That time I set you up. Oh what day is it? It's the day you get shitted. Jury understands, so I get acquitted. You're the one who's definitely killed. Push you down the stairs, raviolis oh, all spilled. No. Oh, oh no! You dude. Jesus Christ! My own gun against me, dude. <laughs> Look at you now, thinking you're all crunchy. <laughs> Fuck that! I'ma chop you up and put the pieces in a bunch. Of <laughs> in professional wrestling, you'd be the ass. I'll spank you over and over till you stop passing gas. <laughs> Oh, fuck. 
check it out. Last time it was good enough, but I think you got fucking. Thank you, boy. Not did good, but I gotta give it to Justin because he did great. Thank you. I like that uh, Ryan references that video every time we play it. Dude, that. it's like my favorite video. It's the only thing you can it. reference from it, too, because the rest of it is just, like, horrific. <laughs> Dude, I love, I love that, like, the chat shit is full of, like, sheesh and, like, bars and laughs. And then there's, like, the one guy who's like, these both suck. Like, come on, man. Why are you here? No, man. What is wrong with you? Good game, good game. Yeah, if, 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 if I would have won if it weren't for using my own meme against me. That last round was really that was, crazy. That was smart. Man, you also wrote, you rhymed acquitted. Fuck. Oh, it's not a song of Ice and Fire, guys. It's not that one. I just said Neon Grey joined my head and made me laugh. Oh, the Red Wedding, am I right, guys? What the Man, heck I... happened there? <laughs> Hope it's a song of Come ice and fire. Answers, what? Let's see how you did. What do you mean what? Stark? Oh, Levin. How Stark? Good. What do you mean Stark? Oh. That's the one. That's like the main one. Oh, like the... I, I was thinking think of I Tony. Actually saw Stark. <laughs> 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 you were thinking of what? Tony Stark! Uh, Tony Stark! Who's Aaron? Oh my fuck. Oh. Liza Aaron, bro. Bro, the John Aaron. The, the, the wet nurse. No, 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 no. Throw the, the, the make the bad man fly. Seasons man. one to eight. Trash. I really appreciate you for, like, being in here, Mel. <laughs> I try. Let's give Mel a hand, people. I try. No, don't give me your hands. Give me your follows. <laughs> I get to pick a slice. I'm See, good. isn't it fun? You get to pick a slice. Not really, because then you get to watch someone else eat it. It's okay, I got this. Here we go. Light blue solo. Hey! Okay, okay. Oh. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. That counts as a square. Bro. You're winning, dude. Do you want players next mm. to a skull slice to get points or lose points? Oh, how about get points? I don't yeah, care. I'm with get. I'm, I'm, I'm with get. Wait, yeah, yeah I'm get, points. Get. get points. I like get lose points. because oh. it makes the game take longer. Shut up, man. I'm also not next to a skull. To Yay! Oh, what? What the hell? <clears throat> it's not gonna be that many points, right? Wow! Oh, my man. God! Ryan! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like 500 you points. ruined me! <laughs> <laughs> Saying there's a chance. I didn't think Justin. it would be three thousand, man. Yeah, I'm down. Oh. Okay. He doesn't love you three thousand, man. So, yeah, Ned Stark when he loves you, you three thousand. <laughs> Which historical leader am I? Oh, there's not that many, right, guys? Some mm. might help. I don't know any. Greek kingdom of Macedonia. Well, oh, good luck, Ryan. Yeah. Yep, that's an easy well, one. There yeah. goes. <laughs> I don't. The Persian Empire. I don't know shit, man. What's your oh, it's the guy from the thing. I don't know his name. Say it out loud. No, I don't know. Oh, never mind. It's not he the guy that I thought it was. By Aristotle. When he was younger, he dealt with Plato. Is this fun for you, Ryan? Uh, you should really know this one. No, we really This is not, not obscure Greek. knowledge. I, it's from never, 100 million years ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for the hints, video game. Oh, uh. Because of his military victories, he earns the epithet. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was, I was busy making jokes. I was just typing uh, American <laughs> friends. Ghibli. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny that Alexander's dad is named Philip II, but he's named Alexander. His dad was like, fuck that, the buck stops here. Oh, I'm overdue for a makeover. Could you apply some slice? You know what I mean? Be generous. Right. He was like, no more Phillips. Oh god, there's a lot of aqua on here, man. Two solos. What is this? Uh my Sharona? <laughs> Am I right, Apollo? On the two X. Chibli, let's go, friend. Oh, I was on wow. it. Wow. Two on there. He's in the lead. 
Get fricked, noobs. Wait, he's got a solo 2x, too. He could win in one fucking spin. Eat shit. <laughs> You're all... Oh, no. oh, my God. I'm in, like, third. This is okay. No, it's not. You shouldn't even be close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't take my points. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now, Ryan, you do me. What does mine say? Don't what the fuck, fuck me. <laughs> do not fuck me. To make, and else is very uh, I mean, the small player is going to take, take the 4,000. Right? It's got to be this one right here. Yeah, that's the, that's the oh, correct that's one the only other to do. I clicked on the damn screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only slice you're on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Wow! Wow! Oh, Did he win? Oh my god. No, no, I think he's just yet. on there. He gets to spin, bro! What no, times four? Oh, he had two on it! He, he had, had two, two on, on it! <laughs> what the fuck? Mouth! Yeah. Mouth! It's so much fun, Mouth! It's not that fun. <laughs> you you can tell. Unless I make You're real money come, from dude. it. He won! Unreal. Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knew the housewives. Points in two spins. That's that crazy! That's actually a crazy play, dude. Dude, so true. Uh, we so gotta true. figure this out finally. Don't no All right, guys, go go follow mouth. <laughs> mm, makes oh, sense. Oh. Fair. Mm. <laughs> oh, what a game! I love the wheel. Yeah, well, well what a game! Oh man! I should put that up on YouTube. You should, it's like you the should, perfect dude. length to be a YouTube short. You got a nice one, Justin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to, you, you answered my question for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good gaming, Lance. Good gaming. Yeah, good gaming. Good gaming. Good gaming. Hey, hey, good G Jackbox G G today. Fun times. All right, Hope later. A cool day. Later. I'll see you later. Enjoy Great the day. Game Awards. I will. Sponsored yes, by game Panera. Award. Charge Lemonade. Awards. No. Get Enjoy no, no, responsibly. No, no, no. No. <laughs> People, what the hell, bro? They were writing way more messed up shit than that. They were joking about 9-11 and stuff like that. I tell one joke about a lemonade that killed two people, and all of a sudden, it's like, oh, that's too far. It killed two people? Well, it, like, it killed one person, and then one person died. It's kind of like a lawsuit that's pending right now. Can we talk about what happened in the NFL? Jags, Browns should be interesting with CJ Beathard starting. Is it Beathard or Bethard? <laughs> Honestly, um, I mean, after losing to the Bengals, I'm pretty sure that the Jags are washed. I think Trevor Lawrence is probably going to get put on IR. They're going to save him, rest him up for next season. Um, ETN, you know, I he's a contender for running back of the year, but me personally, I don't see it. I think it's probably going to go to Christian McCaffrey instead. So I think the Jags are cooked, honestly. After that loss to the bag, uh, the Bengals, after that loss to the Bengals, I gotta say Jags are cooked. I think you're probably looking at. Um, if I had to guess, Super Bowl, Super Bowl this year, out of the AFC, it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be the Ravens. You never doubt uh, Lamar Jackson when the game is on the line. You know. Dollars to donuts. You give me one quarterback with the ball in his hand on the final drive. We go Ravens. Then out of the NFC, shh, I'll take the consensus pick. Even after that that loss to the 49ers, I go Eagles. Jalen Hurts has never lost uh, two games in a row in history. So it's simply, it's not going to go down like that. So I think it's going to be Eagles versus Ravens. It's going to be the bird bath. And I think it's going to be, uh, I think the Eagles are getting their second Super Bowl championship this year. I'm calling it. So what's the parlay? Jalen Hurts, six rushing touchdowns. We're going to take the over there. And Greg Olson, one of the best tight ends in the game. I'm going to say he gets 800 yards, and I'm going to take the over on that one. He's a commentator now. That's why the, I mean, right now it's trading at uh, minus 11,550. So that's like, that's why it's such a good spread right now, because he's not even in the NFL. That means it's extremely likely. I meant plus a hundred million. You said plus a hundred million right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kate is live. I'm saved. I will send you over there. Who's gonna win World's Strongest Man? Probably um, Magnus Strong Manson. If I had to guess, he's been really working on his uh, Boulder carry this year. 
and uh, I watched him pull a Boeing 787 Dreamliner uh, at Chicago O'Hare uh, International Airport. As they say, bye. He's gone hard, I'm wondering why. Got out of bed at all. Morning rain clouds in my city. And I can't sleep at all. Because the rain's so heavy, it makes these sounds. And so, boo doo